congratulations on your show last night. Thank you. Are you excited to bring this show to Manila? How excited are you guys? Yes. Scale of 1 to 10, 11. Yeah, easy. Yeah, we all we are, aren't we? Yeah. yeah Everyone, we've all we've all been talking about it. For it's definitely for me, well for me anyway. I think for a lot of people, it's kind of the thing that's getting us through Zurich. Mm. Don't get me wrong, Zurich's beautiful, um, but we we're here for a long time, and I think the idea of 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 flying to Manila uh, to finish, especially to finish the tour as well, I think it's a great send off for everybody, and we've heard it's so so beautiful, and so we're really yeah we're really looking forward to. Coming out. What was the reaction? Because we heard that the company manager was the one who uh, did the announcement, Charlotte. What was your reaction? Uh, we were all really happy. Uh, we, um, we, 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 were, we knew we were going to come here and that it was going to be absolutely freezing. And we were told that there would be the possibility of an extension. And um, when we found out that it was going to be so far away, because we've never really gone any further than Europe. Uh, and. Um, so to think that we were going to finish the tour in somewhere absolutely stunning on the other side of the world was just, was just brilliant. And it's kind of, kind of like brings Mamma Mia into the setting that's in, like on a beach and in the sun. It's just nice. My reaction was, boom, <laughs> yes, <laughs> get in. What was yours? Yeah, about the about same. The same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> boom ting. Boom ting. <laughs> Amazing. Have you started researching about the Philippines, Googling? I don't know. We did Google. Yeah, looking at things. You to do. Yeah, we. I think straight away. I think it was Morgan, who's one of the. Uh, she's on the sound, sound um, and she found just pictures. So many pictures. Um, as soon as we found out, excuse me, um, and they were just stunning. Just beautiful, beautiful, like rainforests and, and beaches, and you know, not quite loads of traffic and pollution. We didn't find <laughs> much of that. Uh, are you going to deal with that once you go to Manila? Yeah. Because you're in the central business district. I think we are, yeah, we are. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now, um, chemistry is an important aspect of the show. It is. How do you, I mean, you guys are like Sophie and, uh, what, what's the name? Sky. Sky, Sophie and Sky. Yeah. How do you go about the, uh, the, the, romance, the romantic part of the show or the characters? Like, how do you, do you rehearse the kissing? <laughs> is it important that you guys are like yeah together in definitely life or what I it's, know. De it's definitely important to have a chemistry on stage and yeah. I think if you do then it comes across to the audience and it's more believable and it, it feels uh, a lot more real as it were um, when we were first <laughs> when we were first in rehearsal the way that the choreographer uh, Nicola it was Nicola, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the way she got <laughs> us to, to be comfortable with each other I mean I I didn't know Charlotte. Actually, I'd met Charlotte once right, before. Right. We won't go there, but I'd met, I'd met Charlotte <laughs> once before. Um, and so we didn't really know each other, but she got us to uh, run after each other and, and touching each other and kissing each other and trying to... I think at one point she actually said to me, when she comes back into the room, try and just take her clothes off. That's what she said. And then obviously she stopped us when it got a little bit too far. But I mean, that's kind of... I was and, mortified. Yeah, we were quite, both of us were quite embarrassed about it. But it, at the same time, it kind of, it kind of helped. It kind of made us feel very comfortable with each other very quickly. And I think for Sophie and Sky, you, that, that needs that. Because to be fair, Sky doesn't have a lot on stage. doesn't have a lot of stage time with Sophie. And he has about two scenes, one of which he has to show the audience is completely in love with her, and the second is him having an argument. I'm not sure whether they're going to, you know, hold it together. But, but yeah, it's important to have a chemistry, definitely. Yeah, I think as, I think as actors as well, and as friends, we have to get on off stage as well, obviously, because you, you can't just not be speaking to each other off stage and then just turn on this thing. You know, we've got to... We have a good, solid friendship, so it's mm -hmm. it's it's easy. It's you know I don't find it difficult. So it's we know each other from before. We tr both trained together, so getting this job was a bit like <laughs> mental, wasn't it? Yeah. So we we sort of already know the way that each other work, and know, and we we don't have as long rehearsal as these two. So we basically had a week to get up to running up to a standard. But the likelihood of us ever going on together was tiny. So it was sort of it, we, yeah, we we did though. Did. Yeah, we did end up going on together, but. You know, it's it's a lot different because we obviously had not our own stage, and it's we have very similar blocking to these two. But obviously, we had our own take on it. You don't know how the other person is going to react to you going in for a kiss or, you know, anything like that. So that that overcoming that was was a big big thing. But it was 
easily easily mm. achieved yeah it's i mean it's it's our job as actors it's your job to pretend regardless of what relationship you have with yep. someone else on stage regardless mm -hmm. whether you hate them or whether you're in love with them you need to act the text and give truth to the text yeah. and that's what you're paid to do so you kind of have to do it somehow <laughs> It's like it's even relationship with the guys as well, you know. Just the with the boys uh, get on really, really well here, and it's it's a lot, as do the girls, and it's a laugh. It's a, it's a laugh. It's a great company, and because of that, the whole feeling of the show is um, intensified. Is there a little pressure to look good on stage? Especially, yes. Uh, the boys. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put the. Is this diet coke? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's Pepsi light. I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, is, is looking good or being in shape part of your contract? Yeah. Yeah. It's to, yeah, it's in my contract to an uh, to an extent. It's not. I mean, it doesn't state I have to, but it's just for um, for purposes of the show to an extent, but also uh, for you as a person. You know, it's quite. It can be quite mortifying getting up in front of thousands of people and having to just be in in your pants. You know. Um, and I think if you feel good about yourself, um, then it is yeah, it's not as um, it's not as sort of daunting as it were. But but yeah, for me, my contract, yeah, we um, that's what we do. We go to try and gym it and stuff. As you can see, Ollie today is sporting a, an All Saints low cut <laughs> top. It's looking good, you know. Just had a spray tan. We're feeling feeling good. Feeling good, yeah. like a surfer, huh? Yeah, he does. He's very. He loves his surfing. Manila, get ready for Mamma Mia! The global smash hit musical direct from Broadway and West End opens January 24th at the CCP Theatre. Get your tickets now at Tiki World. 891 9999. Mamma Mia! The ultimate feel good show! See you all there!